everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate on how to set up scuba gear before you go on a scuba dive. The first thing you're going to need is a BCD. A BCD is a buoyancy controlled device. It has a Velcro strap that straps onto the back of your air cylinder. It also has an overpressure relief valve. It has a large inflation slash deflation hose valve. It also has a low pressure valve on it. Um, your, it comes with a supported backpack and a harness which straps on to you. The next thing you're going to need is your air cylinder. That's this. It's a 63 cubic inch tank that has a 3000 PSI. The next thing after that is going to be your regulator. Your regulator has the first stage on it. It has the second stage, which is your mouthpiece that you breathe out of. It has a low pressure hose that you attach to the BCD. And then you also have your computer guide, which is your pressure gauge. Um, the pressure gauge shows you how much air you have left in the tank to breathe off of. And then above the air pressure gauge, there is the depth. It tells you how far underwater you are at the moment. And then on the back, there is a compass. Then the next thing you will need is a wetsuit, which I have on right now. It's a three millimeter wetsuit. You'll also need scuba gloves, dive boots, fins, you'll need a mask with a snorkel on it, and then you also need your weight pouches that slide right into your BCD. The first thing we have to set up is going to be the BCD, which includes all of your parts. The the first thing would be to slide the BCD on to the tank and then after you have slid it on at a proper height, it depends on how tall you are because sometimes the tank will hit the top of your head and other times it won't. It'll be too far down and then it'll just be like uncomfortable. The next thing you need to do is strap it on tightly, make sure it's on good. You want to take off the dust cap, make sure you have an o-ring in or you can't set up equipment properly, it's just not safe. The first thing you want to do before you put your regulator on is you want to slowly turn on the tank to, to get all the excess dust off of it. So. And you just, real quick, just a second, doesn't take that long to get the dust off. Then you would grab your first stage, and you want to unscrew the dust cap off of that, which just unscrew all the way back because you're going to have to put it on, on the um, air cylinder valve. You want to make sure... Your second stage, your, your air source, is on the right. You always want it off to the right. Because when you're underwater, you just want to go like this. If you ever lose it out of your mouth, and just grab onto it real quick. So, we want to put it on like this. You want to screw it on tight. You don't want any leakages. It's, it's not safe. And it's not good for your equipment either. So we have the mouthpiece coming over the right shoulder. Um, then you want to hook the low pressure gauge up to this, which you just pull this down and you want to slide it over this. The 
Because there's that. And then you want to turn your tank on. So what we want to do is we want to turn it all the way on. And if you hear any leakage, that means that your regulator is not on all the way. So then you want to turn it back one-fourth because you don't want too much pressure. You want to check the gauge to make sure it's on. Right now, there's only about 700 PSI in the tank. Um, you want to let pressure out of the um, mouthpiece to so, like that room that also removes excess dust. And then you would then inflate your BC, which you can manually do, or you can, because it's attached to that low pressure hose, you can um, just push a button and it inflates. So after that, we're ready to gear up. You first want to put on your wetsuit, then you put on the boots, and then your gloves, and then you put on your mask. Make sure it's fully on your face or it's just going to fall off and it's very hard to go find masks sometimes depending on what type of water you're in. And then we would put on our BCD and we'd walk in with our fins on our arm. We always put the fins on last because they're very easy to trip over and you have a heavy mass weight on your back. So then you just float on your back, um, put on your fins, deflate your BCD, put your regulator in your mouth, and then you're ready to go. Thanks for watching.